What's up, guys? CB Fishing back here with another video, and I know it's been a while. Um, I've been gone for about a month and a half, probably. Uh, the reason I haven't really been uploading is I've just been really busy. Hunting season started, and I've been trying to get a good hunting video out for y'all. Just hasn't came yet, but hopefully this weekend. I can make it happen. It's muzzleloader season, and I'll actually show y'all my muzzleloader here in a minute, but first, I just wanted to tell y'all that this is basically an update video telling y'all everything that's been going down. Basically, just been hunting a lot every day. I've been busy with school, basketball, and hunting. That's pretty much it. I haven't really did much fishing at all. I went a little bit earlier today and caught two, but... That's it, so that's basically what I've been doing. I'll definitely have a good hunting video out for y'all this weekend though, so stay tuned for that. And we're almost to 50, I guess, kind of. We're at 21, and if you watch this video, or if you have ever watched any of my videos and have not clicked the subscribe button, please click the subscribe button promise that I will I'm gonna try to start doing it every other day uploads guys so every other day every day is gonna be extremely hard but I'm probably gonna try every other day so stay tuned and I will show you guys my muzzle loader so okay guys so I got my muzzle loader this is what I'm gonna be shooting this weekend it is a Thompson Center Renegade 54 caliber muzzleloader. Um, it's old style as you can see. Uh, ball and powder. Got a little patch on here with some boar butter just to keep it good and lubed up. Um, yeah, this gun has some really good detail. As you can see here, I'll put some B-roll of this gun in here in a minute, but so you can see a little bit better. But yeah, that's it. Uh, got this ramrod just a wooden ramrod, big end from it for your ball starter and. Or for starting your ball down in there and then muddle in. Uh, stick her back in there. Lay her over there. And now, and that sucker is dead on at 50 yards. I can drop a deer at 50 yards with that. This is my muzzle and box that I use. It's just a little. It's an old tackle box. Just keep all my muzzle and stuff in it. Uh, first thing, I got my powder. It's Pyrodex. Best powder in my opinion. Uh, it's really good powder, I think. Always work well for me, so that's what I'm gonna use. Uh, I have some trusty boar butter. Always comes in handy. This stuff is great. I love this stuff, so that's good. Um, got my powder measure right here. Uh, I shoot 100 grains, so I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty hard, but it's on 100 grains right there. Just a brass powder measuring thing. I have my percussion caps right here. <coughs> CCI. Take one out. In case you've never seen one. Just look like this. Pretty small one. These percussion caps 
haven't had them fail me yet, so they're pretty good. Uh, got some more little lube that came in a little kit. It's super lube. It's a little small. Same thing. Same deal as boar butter. <coughs> ball starter. Need this. Start my ball. Sort of in the name. And I have patches. I just cut up a t-shirt and made homemade ones. So, got a good amount of those. They will seem to work just fine. I'm not sure what size lead balls these are, but this is what I shoot. Oh, uh, just standard little lead balls. So, basically it from a muzzleloading setup. Uh, really like that gun. My dad got it for 75 bucks. Uh, I think it was a really good deal. Because, in my opinion, it's a really good gun. And, I just really like it. Um, but yeah, like I said, this is what I'm going to be shooting this coming up weekend, which is muzzleloader season. Like I also said, uh, Hopefully I can slay me a nice buck or a nice doe. Um, I've got um, pictures of really nice bucks over where I have my game camera. And it should be pretty nice this weekend. So hopefully I can kill something and get it on film for you guys. But other than that, that's my update. And... Hope y'all enjoyed this. All the beer, all of this gun, and all that. So, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next episode of CB Fishing.